Hey everyone, my name is Lauren from The Lab and I make videos on whether or not fitness apps, meals, or products are fit for fitness. In today's video, I am doing a full review on the Shakespeare bottle. So this product was actually recommended by someone that had commented on another video. If you have something that you would like me to try before you buy, go ahead and comment it down below. This bottle is actually a capsule shaped bottle. As you can see, it's very rounded and pill shaped. There is a portion of the bottom that is flat. As you can see right here, there's like a very small surface area of a flat bottom here, but it still continues the curve right here. I got the full black one without a window, so it's very nice and sleek black. What you'll notice is there's markings on the outside, which to me, it does not make sense. I don't really see how that's helpful. It has a satin feel to the body, so it feels nice and smooth. It has a large body as well. It's a bit harder to grip if you have small hands. There's really not much to grab, especially if your hands are like baby hands. You're gonna have to hold this with two hands. I'm just thinking of the little kids out there. Um, but the lid does have this little grip part right here. So it's a lot easier to open and close it, which I really like. It does still have that same satin material on the lid. The lid also has a swivel carrying loop, which is really nice. Feels nice and smooth, rubber. It moves up and down pretty easily, but it doesn't go that high. You still have a place for your keys. The sliding mechanism of the lid is a miss for me because it's pretty hard to open and close it, especially closing it. Like opening it, it has that pop, really nice. Closing it, you have to put a lot of force. And I push it close from here because I feel like there's more um, force that I can give rather than right here on the top. Oh, that's like super hard to close. Uh, maybe if you have stronger hands than me, you can close it easily, but personally, I don't like it. There's a rubber gasket on the interior of the lid and that helps maintain the seal. It's one piece, which means it's less likely to get mildew or mold in the top. The way that I remove this, it's really hard to. It's easy to put it on. All you have to do is slide it back on, but to take it off for cleaning, you really have to push it back. Ugh. So I use two hands. So to take it off, you push it all the way back and then you pull really hard and it'll come off. That's how you would remove the lid if you want a deep cleaning. To open the lid, you just twist it off on this grip part. The interior of the lid is all rounded and you can see that gasket right there. Nice plastic on the inside. No corners for the powder to get stuck in less likely mildew is going to secretly grow somewhere etc hopefully you guys wash your bottles really well the interior of the bottle has no marking so it's just nice and sleek on the inside but again i don't see how this is helpful to have the markings on the outside if i were to purchase this again i would get the one with the window do not get this one makes no sense too the interior of the bottle is curved as you can see um, especially right here it has that capsule pill shape shakespeare does state because it has no corners it is less likely to hold any smells it's less prone to smells so that might be a plus for you this bottle is not dishwasher safe but according to the company it is super easy to clean i don't know about you but getting that lid off was like one of the hardest things for me to do today to be honest even harder than lifting heavy weights <sighs> Yeah, not really, but still, it's pretty hard to get that lid off. So now we're gonna read the little pa pamphlet that comes inside the bottle. So, Shakespeare Tumblr Original, which is what I have. The Shakespeare is capsule shape, mixes powder and soft roots, no need for mixing ball or a mesh grid, no powders get stuck, saves money, avoid smell, easy clean, slide cap, none leak slash drip. I'm pretty sure that means non leak. Hygienic silicone leak proof closure, hand wash only, soft fruit, shake well for 10 to 15 seconds only, then add powder plus milk or water. It holds up to 700 milliliters. It's actually interesting that they say it takes 10 to 15 seconds to mix the soft fruit because also right down here, there's another script. Alternatively, puree soft fruits by placing in bottle without liquid or powder and shake it like you have 30 seconds to save the world. This makes a great base for a protein shake or a milkshake. Pretty interesting that they say 10 to 15 seconds and then 30 seconds here. What is it? Well, I guess that's for me to find out. Maybe I'll do another video on that of me shaking it really hard. And the purpose of today's video, do I think this is fit for fitness? Honestly, no, I do not. The reasons I don't, again, are because the labels are not super helpful. The lid is super hard to open and close. It's hard to get it off to clean it. And also this base, small surface area, if I push it just a little bit, it's gonna topple over pretty easily, which will be a bad thing if I didn't close it because it's hard to close. So to me, it is not fit for fitness. Another thing that I don't really matters as much, but it still might matter to most people, 
for some people is how easy it is to grip. It's not that easy because it's not tapered. If you want to see more like this, go ahead and subscribe, hit that like button and get notified by hitting the bell so you can see my next one. I will probably do another video of me pureeing some soft room. I have a banana that's going bad. It's kind of gross. Maybe I should just throw that one out and use a different one. If you think that you like it and you have reasons why, comment that down below because I love to have these conversations with you. Again, I will see you in the next one. Peace.